Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these showstopper cards, which I made in a recent Facebook Live. So this is the one I done during the live. I'll show you this one here. So you just slide off your belly band and then you open it up and you have this really fun card. It looks well, it's a showstopper, that's what I call these kind of double cards. We were trying to think of names, and um, one of them was the Hexadecagon, which basically Hexadecagon is a 16-sided object, um, and that was because there are 16 squares. It's a very long one, and I don't think everyone can pronounce it, so I'm just going to call this the double accordion card, because that was another popular one, because you have that accordion style. Um, so this is what I'm going to call this one, the double accordion card, or double display according card something like that you would have seen what's in the title anyway but it looks really nice and then on the back you've got room to be able to write your message so this one here is slightly smaller this was my sample and when I ended up folding it down it came to five by six which is a bit of an odd size it's still a beautiful card but then I done this one during the live which is actually your six by six so again you just slide off your belly band and you have this one and this one I've used the holographic card which I just adore Again, you can kind of see the way it kind of all it all just squashes down, just like an accordion. And um, I think it looks fantastic. And again, stands up really nicely. They need a lot of space for this one. So it can certainly take centre place. And on the back there, you see you've got all that space. And you could put more squares on here. People were saying how we were all kind of saying it reminds us of game shows, like all the panels where they bring down the numbers and stuff like that. But also you could put photos, you could put, you know, all kinds of things in those squares. So that's what we're going to make today. So let me show you how. Okay, so for the verses, I use the Card Making Magic verses, and I was saying in the live she's just launched a load more, and I'm actually going to stock up on some of them because they're brilliant. So that's those. It will be linked below. The embossing folder, which I've used on the front there, is my zigzag one from my Made to Surprise range, and it's the 6x6. And then today's colours, I'm going for the craft card. And um, these lovely ones here. All of this paper is from a Carter Bell Botan Botanical Garden. It's an old collection. I'll link it below. Apart from scraps, I've just got the top sheet. And that's it there. So yeah, Carter Bell Botanical Garden. All right. So I've done one half already and I've stuck all of those pieces down because you don't need to watch me do it twice. So get straight in. You want two pieces of cardstock that measure 11 by 6. Along the 11 inch side, you want to score at 2, 4, and 6. Okay, then rotate it so you would you'll have now oh, this kind of um, you know blank area that needs to be at the bottom. So rotate it. Okay, and you're going to score at 2 and 4 down to 7 inches. First of all, you want to just score down to the 6 inch score line, then you can, but I'm actually just going to eyeball and go all the way down to the 7 inch here. Okay, if you want to bring your ruler, sit that down there and just score down to your seven inches on the ruler, you can. And again, at four inches down to the seven. Okay. Then rotate it back into the 11 inch side and you're then going to score. If I bring in my template here, this will actually help you a lot. So I've already got this. I'll take a photo and put it on my blog. But you can see here where I've scored at the two and four. Ignore that I put four and two. Um, I'll change that. But you would have scored all the way down there and you can see I've scored down to seven okay and then at that four scored down to seven now we put it back in here you want to score at one inch just between this middle square here okay and then you're also going to join up the ends of those two score lines which will be at your seven inch marker so here I'm hovering my stylus over that first square and then I'm starting to score at one inch Again, if you want to bring a ruler in and sit your ruler like so, and that's pretty much a one inch ruler, but anyway, you can see I'm just sitting it at the one inch there, hover over that first square and then start scoring just within that one. And then here I'm just joining up the ends of those score lines. So I know this is a cream card stop, but you can see now my score lines. There we go. Okay. That one there doesn't look like it's coming up too well. Let's do that again. There we go, you can really see it well. Okay, so you want to do that twice. And then I've just got my mat and my cutting knife. You can use your trimmer if you want to. Ooh. And then you're going to cut from that one inch score line in the middle here down to the seven. So you can see I've got my red lines, which are my cut lines. Just cutting that piece there. 
Okay, so you can see again that way there's your two, four, and six, and then your two and four. Then you're going to just cut from that one there all the way down to that one, and again along the bottom. So, let's sit this one down here. Okay, and again you'll do that on the other piece. Now with this all towards you, so I've got that larger section at the back, bring up this one so you create a valley fold, like so, and then that next score line you want to become a mountain. So again, you can see here, no, oh, that's obviously all folded, but you're bringing it up like that. Then these two here are gonna become valley folds. Okay, the middle one is then going to become a valley fold as well. You can kind of see, if I keep it like that, how that kind of wants to stay. But that's now going to become a valley, this middle one. So these two need to become mountains. Just pinching it for the minute. Then this one, it wants to go to a mountain next. Which means these two at the end need to become valleys along with that last one. So all your last ones are valleys. All well, the next ones are mountains, then a valley. You know, they just need to work along so they will concertina fold. And then you can fold it all down and just really burnish all those score lines well so you have that effect. And I'll hold it up like that. Okay, so repeat that so you have the two. And then I'll bring this one in now so you can kind of see what I've done. So what's going to happen, you'll have two, yours will be plain. You're then going to flip one of them and we're going to stick it over the top. You can see there where we get our card. But before we do that, I'm going to, well actually, no, do that now because it doesn't matter that I've already stuck my mats and layers down. So I'm actually going to stick this one over this one here. So all you want to do is add your glue on the back of this piece here. Don't go into here. Just literally, just pretend you, you know, it's just that rectangle piece. And then you're going to butt it right up to that score line. And then lay it all down. Just line it up so the tops all line up. And just make sure that that folds over nicely. You don't want to buckle anything there. Rub away any glue. I can see that's going to fold nice and flat along with that side. And that's our 6x6 six six size. Okay. I can open it back up and now we can start adding our mats and layers. So I've already done half of what you need so I will give you the full amounts and I've also done some in different patterns so you'll see this middle section is a slightly different pattern to the top ones but in total with the squares you want 16 that are one and three quarters squared and then 16 pattern papers that are one and a half squared but you might want to change your patterns, okay? And you'll see they're going to go across all these squares here and then mine will go on the other side here as well. So I've got those two, okay? Um, and then they're the other ones which are already within those 16. And then these pieces here, you'll want 10, five on each side. And those are, mats are three quarters of an inch by one and three quarters. And then it'll be half an inch by one and a half. And again, I've got the same pattern for the top there. Then I've got those three there. And then I've got the other one there. Okay. And then I have, this is all gonna stick on the front along with those extras. Then I've got this here. So I've already gone ahead and decorated all of this. So you can see I've stamped my verse there. And then I just fussy cut these pieces from the paper pads. Put another little one at the bottom there and that's gonna stick in the middle. Now you'll want two of these sizes, one for the front and the back. This is three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then that cream piece on top is three and a half by five and a half. Two of each, so I'm gonna have that in the middle there. And then I've done that one already, which is going to stick on the back and I'll be able to write something. And then I've just got this piece ready for the belly band and the decoration on the front. Okay, so that's everything stuck down. So next I've got these pieces here, which are three by six, two pieces, and these are gonna be like your doors. So I'm gonna have one on here, on the very front. Make sure that piece goes in. So it's gonna go like so. And then this one 
is going to stick on this side here, like so. So all of these, you'll see there's this little piece overhanging here, that's the door. And then on this one here, I then backed it with more of the holographic cardstock there as well. Um, and I just think it's a nice way to kind of close everything up. I mean, if you don't want to have it, you don't have to, but I do think it's nice. It just kind of finishes it off. So what you want to do is just add your glue just onto this kind of obscure shape. I'm not worried that, because craft card usually has a lighter and then like a, a, or a raw side. That's your raw side and then that's like your shine, kind of your, your pressed side. Um, but I'm going to be backing it with the nice sized side again, like so. All right. But you might have a pattern paper that complements, like a double sided one that will complement both sides. So whatever works for you. And do the same on the other side. Okay, so you'll see now that's all stuck down. Next, I've cut these two cream pieces, which are gonna mat the front, but I'm gonna use my embossing folder on them first. They're two and three quarters by five and three quarters. So I'm gonna pop them in here and just run that through my machine. Okay, so I've just stuck them on there, so they're just drying. So while that's happening, I've got these strips here. Now if you wanna cut your strip exactly to the length, you know, to cover this, then you can. But I've gone a little bit bigger, this is what I've done in the live, cover it all, let it stick, and then trim around it, and you get a much nicer finish. So I'm just gonna cover this with the glue. I'm using the Kalau glue throughout, and um, it becomes a very nice, strong card. So now I'm just gonna stick that piece over there, so I can butt it right up. It just gives you a really nice, very neat finish. Let that dry. Do the same at this end. Okay, back to this one while it's pretty much dry. And then I can just go in, use my longer scissors here. And if you go in from underneath, you can get your scissors right up along the side there. And you just get a perfect finish. Do the same on this one. Okay, so that just finishes off the inside really nicely. You can put a strip there. I put an extra one over that one there, so that's just the white piece, and then I put that coral colour over the top. And then with this one, you can see I just left it with the holographics. It's entirely up to you. You can put some washi tape down the sides there. You may want to um, do a decorative border in it or something, you know, there's lots of ways to change it. But now that all folds up, so then I've got my belly band. So this is a piece of one and a quarter by A4 length. We used 12, I think, on the other one because that's what I had available, but um, you can even do 11 if that's what you've got. You just need, need, you will need to join it up, which I'm going to have to do anyway with the flower. But just wrap it around. Don't do it so tight that it won't slide off. That's just nicely sitting around there. And then I'm going to join them together with that flower. Okay, so that's that done. I think it's stuck. It's just a little nod to the patterns and everything that's inside. But now that should just sit. I don't know if it's upside down, the flower or not. I don't think it really matters. That'll just slide over. Like so. You need to make sure it doesn't catch. There we go. I just think it finishes it off really nicely. You could still pop this in an envelope as well if you wanted to, or one of my box envelopes. I'll, I'll link that up here now actually because um, I think a box one will be better because there is a little bit of dimension to it. So I'll just take that one off, open it up, and there you have a wonderful card. Yeah, it looks so, so pretty. So that's the craft card one. Then we've got the holographic one. Ooh keep my belly bands together and then we've got the original one which is a little bit smaller but still looks really really pretty I'm still happy with it so yeah there you have my double accordion display cards or showstopper cards thoroughly enjoyed making these really really nice it's really good fun during the live as well chatting to everybody and already you've been sharing your versions on the group which you know I love to see yeah, if you haven't joined mixed up crafters on Facebook head on over and join you can share anything that you've made following my tutorials and it's just a really nice happy space on Facebook so thank you for joining as always I'll share as many of the links as I can I've used in today's tutorial and I'll be back very soon with another one. Thanks for watching. Bye!